So here we have some of our onions and uh, they're not quite ready yet to be picked. So uh, I think it'll be another couple of weeks or so and uh, then we can harvest these as well. So I'm just loading up my freeze dryer with the onions. These are our homegrown onions. I've been chopping for two days. Um, I've already done one batch, uh, so this is my second batch. And uh, once these are finished, I'm going to be um, grinding them up and uh, making onion powder. I've just taken out my second batch of our homegrown onions and uh, I'm just about to uh, check to see that they are completely dry. Now, I haven't turned off my machine. Um, I wait until I know everything is uh, dried completely before I uh, turn the machine off. Now, when I took my trays out, I always also feel that they are hot. Your trays must be hot. And I always take out the bottom tray. The bottom tray seems to um, cool the uh, quickest. And uh, But that was lovely and hot. Now I'm just checking each tray separately. And your food, guys, must feel warm. Okay? So just break it up. Now what I did with my first batch, I... Uh, blended it up in my uh, Nutribullet and uh, I've got some beautiful uh, onion powder. Now I think I'll do the same with this lot. Now I've got enough in the freezer to probably run a third batch but I might just keep those and just use them in soups and stews and everyday cooking. So I'm happy with this so I think I will uh, go and uh, turn my machine off and get these uh, powdered up. So now I'm happy that uh, everything is completely dry. Um, I come over and I press no defrost. So this is the no defrost. I press that and it turns itself off and now I'll just uh, turn it off at the uh, power point. Now, a lot of people asked if this is what I do. Um, as some of them press um, the automatic for the machine to defrost and I just find that just takes up a lot of uh, extra power that's not really necessary. So now I just leave the door open and uh, that could take probably an hour or so but I'm not bothered because I'm not running another batch until probably tomorrow now. So out of two batches, I've got uh, two quart jars and uh, two of these small jars. I think they're about a cup each. So I'm really happy with that. The small jars, I use them and uh, for everyday cooking and I'm going to give some away. So I usually put them in these small jars. Now the uh, quart jars, um, if you can see, I've got a paper napkin inside now the reason I do that, and that's all I use guys, it's just a paper towel and I just fold it and then double fold it and uh, the reason I do that is if I decide to vacuum seal these um, it's going to stop all the um, onion powder from going up into your machine because it can, it can ruin your machine. Now I'm going to leave these for about 10 days and uh, so they can condition. What we mean by let them condition is if they didn't dry properly, you'll see moisture uh, in the jar. So you'll know that uh, they haven't dried completely and they could go mouldy. But um, I did check them thoroughly. Um, I'm very happy how they blended up. And sometimes you can tell when you're blending them whether they're completely dry or not. Because if they're not, it will go like a paste. Um, these, these feel like uh, baby powder. It was so fluffy. It's beautiful. Now the other thing I wanted to mention, um, I compared these with um, store-bought onion powder and guys I can honestly tell you it's like chalk and cheese. Um, the store-bought had no real flavour, had no real smell. 
these are oh, the smell the flavor is amazing so um, I loved it and um, I used it last night in our cooking so uh, I'm really happy with the the product and uh, we'll be doing it again definitely um, next year